Thank you. Okay, welcome everybody uh, to today's meeting of the Jones Library Board of Trustees. I'm gonna ask you to signify your presence vocally, Tammy. Yes. Thank you, Far. Yes. Alex. Yes. Lee. Yes. And Austin is present. I hope Bob will be joining us momentarily. Uh, my hope tonight is that we can look at, uh, we can discuss them, some uh, proposals for the uh, um, an amended memorandum of agreement or memorandum of understanding. Um, and that uh, if we have time, we can go back to the motion that Bob uh, made and that we tabled. So before we do that, uh, I'm gonna ask if there's any public comment so there are two attendees. Thank you for coming. Uh, if you would like to make a public comment, if you would raise your virtual hand. Okay. No public comment. All right. The next is next item is a discussion of the possibility of updating the memorandum of agreement with the town. Uh, Sharon and I have had a, a couple of meetings with um, Lynn and Paul. There are a couple of things that uh, need to be done uh, to the memorandum of understanding. And one thing in particular that is a question of not need to be done, but whether it should be done. So it needs to be done, among other things, are updating the numbers in the um, memorandum of um, understanding. Um, there are other possible fixes, including the date of the last payment. Uh, and the, it's the, in, the intention of the town to kind of clean up this stuff, the dates and the um, amounts. Uh, there is one, uh, I think, what I'm going to say, substantive issue that we need to talk about and see how we feel about. So there have been conversations in the Finance Committee about um, what would happen to the town's ability to do the capital projects and capital improvements it needs to do uh, during a, a two-year period when it has to take uh, on these bans, these uh, bond anticipation notes. The question is whether or not uh, we, the trustees, would be willing to agree to uh, the following language. Uh, the library and the town, and again, the language is not exact, so don't, it's like the words aren't all perfect. The town, the library in the town will do everything possible to expedite providing funds to the town. And this is the language is not exact to avoid or minimize the amount and timing of the short term loans bans during construction. This will not increase the new library share of the project. So what it, what it contemplates is the possibility of accelerated payments. The source of those payments might be, uh, we get a lot of lot more contributions and they come in earlier than is currently contemplated. Another possible source would be that we would withdraw funds from our endowment and transfer those funds to the town uh, so as to accelerate the payments, which would help the town deal with uh, the short-term borrowing costs. And I understand though the amount is not obviously fixed. I understand that the estimate is about $760,000. Um, the precise dates when those, the time when that 
uh, would need to be, that payment would need to be accelerated. Uh, will depend exactly on when the bond, these bans are issued. So the thought is that uh, we could be helpful to the town um, in dealing with uh, the issue of managing the timing and the drawdown, so to speak, that are going to be required through these bans. No increase in the library share is currently contemplated. So uh, I think that's the key thing that we need to discuss. And Bob, you came on just a little bit late. What I said I thought we would do is talk about the the memorandum of understanding in, in principle, we're not gonna try to like reach an agreement today and finalize anything. And then um, uh, talk about the, your motion that we tabled last time. Okay, so what are your thoughts directing in particular your attention to this question about uh, the possibility of expediting payments to the town? Alex. Um, yeah, I'm. I absolutely. I mean, I, I I totally on board with that idea. Having been on the joint capital planning committee for the last eight or nine years, I'm I'm certainly uh, understanding of how tight that budget is every year, and if there's a way for us to um, take care of that without, yeah, I, I mean, to me, it seems like a really nice compromise and something that, yeah, absolutely, I'm I'm on board with. Except I want to call attention to the without in your sentence, because it's okay, not I... clear that it would be without. In other words, we, we might... Sorry, I'm sorry. I should have finished my sentence and said without us taking on... Uh, we're not taking on the cost of the... Yes, without us taking on additional costs that are right now associated with the town. So how we choose to accelerate that, whether it comes from the endowment or what that looks like... Um, I'm 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 comfortable with and I, I won't be around so I'm comfortable <laughs> with future trustees making that decision but I, I agree with the idea of um, us being open to the possibility of trying to accelerate payments in any way that we can and if it makes sense for us to investigate whether it's at that time I mean that's the other thing too I don't I mean at the time if we have a better sense of what the commitments are, right, and it's a matter of waiting for year X payment, I feel like we'll have a lot more information to be able to decide what makes the most sense and how we can work with the town to accelerate those payments. So it's a concept that I'm certainly comfortable with. So the thing I just want to keep in everybody's mind as we think about this is that one possibility is that we would have to draw down the endowment. So that might have some impact on operating expenses. It would depend upon the value of the endowment and it would depend on what we decided as a draw rate. So that's when you said without, I just wanted to make sure that everybody has in mind that there's a possibility that we would uh, need to transfer some funds that were not coming in through the capital campaign or through a grant or something else. Uh, earlier than we would have contemplated doing it uh, prior to entering into this agreement. Okay, other thoughts? Bob? I guess the only way to, to really talk about this is to go through the, the current plan for how these things operate. So, um, I'm just going to to reiterate what um, has been discussed and, and what I believe the <clears throat> town council and in particular its finance committee have been focused on. Um, we have to date given five hundred thousand um, dollars. What I projected, and it was a projection, was that uh, sometime during fiscal 24, which is the year we're in right now, we would come up with $2 million more. That sometime during fiscal 25, which is next year, beginning July, 
we would come up with $4 million more. And then in the following year, we would come up with $5 million more. So what we're talking about is coming up with $11 million over the next, this year plus two more years after that. Um, based upon that plan, what they created was a, a payment system in which they would borrow a construction loan, which is called a ban, of $14 million. Um, and that would be done somewhere around the turn of the, the year. Uh, basically, they were saying in February of 2025. Um, it is the interest on that loan, that $14 million, which then becomes $566,000 in interest payments. Um, in order to reduce those interest payments, what you would be doing is not paying the interest, but rather reducing the amount of that ban. Mm -hmm. um, in order to make that significant, uh, you would really have to do well a million dollars wet less in, in a ban at uh, at four percent would mean forty thousand dollars less withdrawn for a uh, I'm gonna make this complicated forty thousand dollars over a year um, and multiply that by 14 and you get to this five hundred and sixty six thousand um, dollars in order for us to have a significant impact on that, we could pay interest on that for a year. Um, and that would be $566,000. Um, but that would be a totally different structure than anything that we have been talking about up till now. And although they might accept that as a credit towards our uh, payments, it would not in fact change the economics of it in terms of covering the, the uh, $46 million that we're obligated to. So I'm, I'm just not seeing how this works. So this is what uh, Sharon and I were told. We were told that the amount that the town was thinking about was seven hundred and fifty or seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars because it's five something and then there's another figure. And what well, the, there are three different bands. And so let me just I'm sorry, five, but let me just I'm sorry, go ahead. If if I could, yes. That the total figure was about 760. Correct. Correct. So that what the town is asking of us is the possibility of accelerating the payments to cover that seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars at the time that the town needs to borrow it and to pay the interest on it. So it would not increase the library share. It would just say, we're going to pay you a little bit more than was originally contemplated sooner. Are you ready for me to, to, to talk? Well, not quite. Because I want to ask Farah to get in, if that's okay. Sure. Farah? Actually, Bob, if you want Bob to finish, he can, because mine is a little more co less complicated and more about the language of number nine. Okay. Bob? So, Bob, go ahead. Okay. The 764 is simply the interest on these bands. Correct. Okay. Um, and it involves... Uh, a 12 month ban uh, with interest of 566, a six month ban of 136,000, and then a, a, a year and a, a month and a half for 62,000 more, which totals to the 764. That's right. Um, if we were to make payments I, 
I don't I don't know how to respond to the question because so far what we are doing is projecting eleven million dollars coming in. Um, if we want to project that it'll be eleven point seven million dollars, we could do that. Um, but it, I'm not sure what we would be saying in this MOA amendment. What we're saying is we are willing to consider accelerating payments over what was previously contemplated and the acceleration of those payments might require us to go into the endowment up to an amount of $764,000. That's what we're contemplating. That's what we're being asked. That's what this uh, language is asking us, again, we're not agreeing to anything today. The question is, are we willing to accelerate payments to help the town deal with the two years that the Finance Committee thinks there are going to be some problems uh, in terms of its capital, uh, its capital outlays? Farrah? Um, just, just, uh, the language, should the last line of number nine read, this will not increase the town's portion of the new library share of the project, because no. that's what we keep wanting to reassure the town, right? That's what everybody is concerned. No, Alex is. No, the language taking. needs to say that if we accelerate the payments, we are not going to contribute more than we have previously agreed to. And so there is something uh -huh. called new library share. Okay, okay, all right. So this is just to be clear that we're okay. not saying we're going we're gonna to add more to the library share. Okay, thank you. Does that help? Yep. Alex. So um, the last thing that you said in response to Bob's question was different than what I was hearing you say initially or or what I read in the language. So I guess I want to make sure that I understand. So you, um, and if I <laughs> mistyped, um, let me know. So you were saying that the possibility of accelerating the payments to cover up to the 760000 in interest, which is a very different thing. I mean, I don't know what they're asking. So is it an up to seven hundred and six? I mean, I guess the way I was reading that language was, for example, on the fundraising campaign, a lot of what has happened is they've gone out and they've asked people to make payments over a five-year period. Right. And we could certainly go back to people and say, if you're able, we would actually appreciate, give us a lump sum instead right. of that five-year period, right? Which will either get us closer to Bob's projections or will exceed Bob's projections in terms of timing. And so in theory, the amount that we would have to borrow under the bands would be less, which would decrease the interest Correct. that they would need to pay. So, and and if we get to a point where it's time for the town to take out a short-term loan, to take out the ban, then we could sit down as trustees and say, okay, what's the shortfall for this period of time, right? We have this funding coming in. So let's say the town needs a million dollars, right? Yep. that we know we still have coming in. So then we have the conversation of, do we want to take out half that, all of that or whatever? Like, that's what I'm hearing, which is different from really, the 760,000 just is the projected interest. It is what it is. It's what the town's trying to save. And, but, but how we accelerate the payments and how we, that's not necessarily us giving them the interest. It's how we decide to, front, if you will, the anticipated fundraising that's coming in. So that's a little bit different than what I heard you just explain to Bob. So the language says the library and the town will do everything possible to expedite providing funds. So yes. that's what we are talking about doing. And in talking with the town manager about, well, what does it mean? What are you worried about? One of the things that they're worried about is they're worried about, as Bob pointed out, these three interest payments. So one of the things I said, well, what does this mean? You know, like, what are you talking about? And one of the things that was said was, 
advancing $760,000. Now, that doesn't have anything to do with somebody gives us $5 million, so we could give the town $5 million and also provide the this this other kind of thing but that depends on what the town needs at the time that these bans are issued that's why this is not contemplated like they're going to name an amount because we don't know what they'll need at the time so what we're being asked to do is to agree that's what you said alex i thought that you like that we are going to work with the town to expedite payments to help offset the cost to the town of these uh, bans. Tammy. Uh, you said we're not going to decide this tonight. So what's the, the timeline here? And is the town council going to vote on the bond authorization on Monday, and if so, do they need this clarified? I mean, what's our timeline? So uh, what I think we need to do is we need to agree that we think this is possible. We need to come to what I would call an agreement in principle. And then I'll communicate that to Paul. We've reached an agreement in principle that the language contemplated here is with you know tweaks here and there, acceptable. I, mean, I, I just like to comment that in all the, the things I've listened to from the finance committee and town councilors, that they're very concerned about the interest that That's is right. increasing the town's share. So I, I think whatever we can do to mitigate that and in good faith to let them know that we're concerned about that and looking at strategies to decrease or eliminate their additional costs is, is good. I mean, okay. obviously, if we took, took out from the endowment, it would be put back in when the payments came later, correct? From the MBLC or whomever. We hope, and we, of course, hope that it would come in through the fundraising. But I just okay. want to be clear, as I understand it, you all have listened to the very same things I have. The town's costs are not increasing. In fact, given the success of the capital campaign so far, their interest course might even be a little less than they thought. So it's not, we are not covering increased costs to the town because as I understand it, there are not gonna be increased costs to the town. The issue has to do with the timing of these payments uh, associated with these bond anticipation notes. Not that we are helping the town deal with increased costs, because what I heard was there are not going to be increased costs to the town. Bob? The language of nine says, uh, <clears throat> do everything possible to expedite providing funds to the town to avoid or minimize the amount and timing of the short-term loans bans during construction. Uh, essentially advancing the interest is not what's contemplated here. It is about minimizing the amount of the bans. Mm -hmm. But if you advance the interest, you can help minimize the amount of the bans. Not true. Okay. The, the ban is going towards construction costs and all of those dollars will be spent on the project. The interest is separate from that, and it is a it is a, a charge not to the project, but rather to the town. It it just doesn't work that way. So let me just ask you a question, just so we'll be clear about this. The the town needs to issue a fourteen million dollar ban. Yes. We give the town seven hundred thousand dollars. Yes. The town issues a $13 million, $300,000 ban. Yes. And its savings in terms of interest is $40,000. Correct, but we've reduced the amount of the band by contributing the amount as if it was the amount of the interest. Okay, but the 
problem that they're trying to address is how much of the town's capital budget is going towards interest. And if you've reduced it by thirty-five or forty thousand dollars by contributing this amount of money towards uh, how much they need to borrow, it's not having a, a appreciable effect on them. Because instead of paying five hundred and sixty-two thousand dollars one year later, they're paying five hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. It's you know, it's it's still essentially the same thing for them. Well, then I'm not sure why they're proposing. <laughs> why I, do to... I don't understand that either. What well, they're I'll basically. Tell you what, I'll tell you what I've understood. What I've understood is that if we were to think about the interest payment, that it would be helpful to the town. Yes. And that it would help right. reduce the amount of the bans. And that's what they want to do. We can pay all of it next week, in which case the bands will disappear. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, right. My understanding is it's a, a kind of a question of timing. Correct. That the town has, is anticipating a cash flow problem in a particular time period. Correct. And during that time period, it would be helpful to the town if the library for that period of time could contribute its share of contributions to this project. Correct. As it were, earlier than we had anticipated, but you don't even, but okay. So it doesn't alter the overall financial picture. It just Correct. alters the timing. And then we are being asked to consider how should we agree to do this, which I definitely think we should, how we, the library and the library trustees, would cover those payments. Correct. As usual, I say, my goodness, I'm amazed. All right. So, that, I mean, that's the question. And, you know, as uh, yeah, Kent and I will soldier on. And and we're grateful to Bob, who issued a challenge, as I heard it the other day, to encourage everybody to give, you know, pay up your pledges early. Fast, yeah. Which, which, as far as I could see, looking in today is actually happening. So thank you, Bob. Good. Yeah. Bob, is your hand still up or is this a new question? Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to work through all of the pieces of this as I understand them. Great, sure. Um, I don't know whether uh, the interest paid on the bands is a, an eligible expense of the project. Um, from the perspective of MBLC. MBLC requires uh, that all monies that are received go into a separate account um, at, the, at the town, which is then used to cover expenses of the project. To the extent that we are putting aside a separate sum of money going to the town to essentially cover the interest costs, I don't know whether that is is an okay thing from the perspective of the MBLC. Um, and I don't know whether what we are talking about in if it is being credited towards our contribution to the project, whether that fits the requirements. If we don't do it in that form, are we essentially instead making a loan to the town so that it has money uh, to pay its interest during this period when there is a particular shortfall in the capital campaign, in which case then it is outside of and separate from the, the payments uh, that we are making towards the project. 
uh, which would then mean that it would then be reimbursed by the town when they are not in this kind of tight space. I, I, I'm just trying to understand that I none of it is contemplated you, under nine. I think you got it exactly right, except the idea of the town like paying us back. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of paying it earlier rather than paying it later. And I, what you said is, I think, a, a, it's not exactly precise in the sense of it's a loan. It's an advance. So I think what you said is exactly what we're talking about. Pay it faster to them. Okay. Alex. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just, I, Bob, I, you and I are not so far apart as often as the case in terms of, like, I'm, I'm with you on my, like, I was there until the 750,000 came out and then and that's when I got sideways, as I think you did as well. But I mean, for me, the bottom line is, uh, I very much believe that and, and agree with that we should do everything in our power to accelerate right. the money going to the town. And as long as the language, which it currently states, doesn't increase our share, how, whatever town wants to do with that money is up to town, right? If they want right. to put it toward their interest payments, right, then we need to get into the nitty gritty, as Bob's saying about accounts and where it goes, and we can have those conversations. But as long as what we're committing to, and that's what I read in the language, that we will accelerate the payments to the best of our ability, and we are not taking on any additional costs than what we've agreed, which is the library share, then the actual, you know, details of how they do it and what the town has in mind, and perhaps they have a rough idea right now, and we won't know until we get to that point what it's going to look like, um, is fine. I mean, I'm I don't think Bob's wrong in terms of like doesn't one hundred percent make sense to me with the seven, but 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 I, in 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 uh, principle, I'm I'm fine with it, which is what you're looking for today. That's that's what that's what we're trying to do. And the principle, I'm just going to say back to you what I've understood you to say. Principle has two elements to it: acceleration of payments, no additional, you know, library What's share. Library issue? share remains exactly what it was. What we are saying is we will work with the town to accelerate payments. That's what I want to know whether you think it's reasonable to say back that we agree in principle with. And the town is agnostic as to where those where that acceleration comes from. If Lee and Kent, you know, bring it in more, pledges turn into cash faster, then that's fine. The thing that I want just to repeat is we might be in a position where in order to do this, we're going to have to go into the endowment. Right. And then as the capital campaign right. money comes in, right. so everybody should be aware of that. Bob? Um, as we discussed at our last meeting, um, our rate at which we will be making con payments to the town is essentially a set of projections. Correct. And those projections could be plus or minus, and okay. who knows at this point exactly what they will be. And would it be nice if instead of, at that point, Instead of providing 6.5 million, we have provided 7.5 million. I would love to see that happen. Um, and if the town were to choose at that point for uh, some portion of that uh, be used by them to cover the $562,000, which is the interest cost for the ban, you know, that's their choice as, as to how they would make use of that. Um, if what you are asking is whether we are willing to uh, sequester one portion of our payments during this period um, for whatever special purposes the town wants to make of it, um, we could do that, uh, 
but that would be the town's choice of how they want to make use of our uh, payments, which we are making in any case through the capital campaign. And the library in the town will do everything possible to expedite expedite providing funds to the town. Uh, the word sequestration was not used in any conversation that we've had. Uh, so I don't know that it's contemplated that it would be funds sequestered. I think what you said is right. <laughs> the town can, we're going to accelerate payments to the town. And the idea is that's going to help offset the short-term issues that the town is going to may encounter. How the town does its accounting and where it counts it and how it counts it, I don't think it's for us to figure out. So again, I'm going to say just so that are we saying that we agree in principle to we will accelerate the payments, working with the town to figure out when they have to be accelerated, and that this will not increase the new library share of the project. I don't hear any objection to it. I would only make one tweak, Austin, to your language. You you said that we will accelerate the payments, and the the language we says may. we do everything possible. Right, everything possible to expedite. Right. Uh, again, to me, I that's want, that's important language. I, I, <laughs> no, I understand it's important language, okay. Alex. Yeah. We are not now wordsmithing this. What I'd like to get, so I can communicate it, yes. is clarity on what yeah. other people are willing to go yes. the next step to try to actually. This is the this is the language, yes. and you're certainly right to say. We'll do everything possible. Yeah. So if anybody has an objection to it, if they would register it, that would be great. So that I can then let the town manager know that we have an agreement in principle subject to actually looking at the precise language. Okay. Um, oh, Bob. Yeah. And the other question related to paragraph seven. Um, and what it provides is that uh, we would pay simultaneous with the final payment made to the town by the MBLC for the total project cost, which is projected to occur on or before June 30th, 2027. It is my understanding that it would occur in all probability on or after July 1st of 2027. Right. So there are going to have to be some tweaks to some of this language. Uh, I, it is a question that I thought was yeah, worth. It's a good, it's a good question. And Alex, you can, you know, you can say whatever you want to say. The key oh, thing oh, I want I, you to understand was, yeah. is we are not negotiating. This is not, a, we're not signing off on this. There'll have to be some changes to some of these, this language, which we should all surface. Like we want to be aware of what those changes should be, but we're not signing off on this. We're saying we agree in principle to do what is contemplated. That. 2027 date is the date that we wanted and getting it right that it's on or before on or after uh, is an important thing to clarify okay other uh, Alex are you yeah I, I was just oh sorry Bob did you have something more I was just going to say Bob that I actually read lines of things as well I think probably all of us have seen so I'm viewing today's meeting as what Austin asked is in principle, you, what are we, and, and I'm not getting in, as you know, I like to hear the weeds of the language because I've been told that'll happen at a later date. So you're not alone in seeing some things. Okay. Bob? The, the, the last point is just a technical one, and that is 
that these documents require uh, original signatures at some point. So once, once there is agreement on what it is we're talking about, uh, we will have to, you know, come to the library and sign this. Yep, Lee? Well, I assume we're not operating in a vacuum. And so there's a reason why we're having this meeting now in relationship to activities going forward. So have I would like to do whatever I can do to ensure that this is helpful to the project going forward. What I understand is that uh, what will be helpful is communicating to the town manager that the board of trustees of the library discussed this and agreed in principle to accelerating payments and not increasing the library share. And as I Sounds said, not hearing me. any objection to it, I think if it's okay with you, I will communicate that back to the town manager. That's that's what we agreed that um, I would do after this meeting. The next, so are, are we done with that? And if you have um, editorial suggestions, uh, you might communicate them to the town manager and, and to me, and we can, again, look at them together uh, before we sign anything on the, on the dotted line. Okay, the next thing is, Bob, I want to return to your motion that was tabled. Yes. And uh, we, we got some information from the library director which uh, I hope was helpful in clarifying what it is that we were talking about uh, the, the last time. So can we return to your motion, Bob? Sure. Okay, so let's, let's move to take it off the table. I think that's procedurally correct. I move that we take it off the table. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Uh, are we all in agreement to take it off the table? Yes. Okay. Motions back on the motions back on the floor. So I have a question. I wonder if um, what I'm about to read may do what it is that we're trying to do. So I'm just going to read it, and then I'm going to propose. If it's if if it captures what we're trying to do, then I'm going to propose it as an amendment. Is that okay? Upon approval by the town council of the Jones Library renovation and expansion project, the library shall begin to transfer the assets contained in the following funds, and then name the funds: Stone, Potash, Fotis, B E and R Van Steenberg and uh, Runberg to the town for its use on the project. So we've just actually named the funds. Okay, I haven't heard any objection to it. So I'm gonna propose, oh, oh Bob? Well, let's see. Um, the funds which were uh, previously potash, um, were bequests and they have disappeared as separate things. What remains is simply a contribution to the endowment. And so I believe those are simply payments from the endowment equal in value to what had previously been. So the language, I think you're exactly right. That's why the language refers to the assets now, maybe you don't want to say contained in or associated with the gifts. That's correct. But it references the assets and the and the and the gifts. So uh, again, Bob, do you not you don't like the language of contained in? It's not contained in anymore. What does it mean? Uh, well, what do you want to say? Associated with derived from. Fine with me. 
So again, I'm going to propose this as an amendment. Upon approval by the Town Council of the Jones Library Renovation Expansion Project, the library shall begin to transfer the assets derived from the following funds. Stone, Podash, Fotis, B, E, and R, Van Steenberg, and Runberg to the town for its use on the project. Is there a second to the amendment? Second. It, it, it is the bequest which no longer exists. The others still remain as existing funds. So it is, you know, the list and the funds or assets derived from, and there's just those two. That's what the language now says, Bob, assets derived from. So are we ready to vote on the amendment? And then we go back to it. So the amendment is just to substitute that, that language naming the funds, right? Because Bob's original motion did not contain any reference to the funds. Alex? So I, I'm not sure procedurally where where to say what I want to say. So I, um, what I understood was Bob had two concerns. One is reiterating our commitment to pay, uh, you know, as soon as possible, as soon as it's approved and be dealing with these funds. And I think that this does that second piece. And my concern with the first piece, as I stated in the last meeting, is that in, we are, we're literally in the process of redoing an, MO, uh, an MOA with the town. And so to write an MOA in the town with the town that says, we're gonna pay you right away, and then to have a motion that says we're going to pay you right away, I like to me. I don't. More is not better, in my opinion, when you're dealing with legal contracts. So um, again, I'm not sure where this goes procedurally, but I, I would, it would be my suggestion that instead of Bob's original language, we just take this language. And if Bob has any concerns, in MOA, in the MOA, then we address that when we're redlining that bit of the MOA. I, I personally think that's cleaner. So I, again, I don't know procedurally where that goes, but. Uh, you, you, you don't want to have a separate motion or are you saying that once the motion is voted, we will add it to the MOA? No, I'm saying that so it was a two part motion. So the first, so Bob's original motion is basically saying like, we're going to pay as soon as possible. And then your amendment clarifies that bit where we have these certain funds that um, Bob felt needed clarity. And to me, we don't need Bob's original motion anymore because any 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 part he thought was unclear, we should we should redline in the MOA to make clear that we're going to pay as soon as possible. But the second bit, which was his other concern, I I think is valid, and I would. I would substitute Bob's motion for this motion, I guess. Rather than amending, I would I would substitute this. So this is Bob's motion, except it specifies where the assets are going to be derived from. And Bob's concern, sure. which I've come to understand and to share, is that these funds exist in a money market here, a money market there. It simply clarifies the intention which the MOA also notes that we're going to turn over the funds. So uh, it, it doesn't, it, to me, it doesn't create a source of confusion. It says we're agreeing that when we're talking about transferring funds, we're talking about these five or six funds, as well as the stuff that's coming through the capital campaign and grants and other kinds of things. That's what I took Bob's purpose to be. And as I said, looking at it afterwards and looking at the funds, I thought, yeah, let's let's say we're gonna transfer the assets derived from these funds. So on the question of amending the motion, which is simply to name the funds, that's the, really the only substantive change of this amendment. Are we ready to vote on the naming of the funds Okay, Alex. I, I don't know how to vote because I agree with this amendment, but I don't agree with the original amendment. So and this is my consternation. I don't want to vote yes for this and then no for the full motion because I'm... All right. Go ahead. Sorry. 
are you are you substituting this language, Austin? Or are you adding it to Bob's original? No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm unclear. No, no, no. It's not your problem. Bob's motion did not name the funds. Are we using Bob's original language and adding this to it? Correct. Or are you sub? Okay. It's, it's an amendment to Bob's motion just to name the funds, right? It, it's not a, we're starting again, the language about transferring is, that's all still there. Right, which is what I'm saying. I, I, I don't think we should take Bob's original language because that creates ambiguity. I am 100% in favor of a motion that just adds naming the funds. Because what? I share that adds to what? Just make a motion instead that says the trustees move that upon approval by town council, the Jones Library Innovation Expansion Project, the library shall begin to transfer assets derived from the following funds. That's the motion. We don't need to add it to Bob's previous motion. I'm sorry, that Alex, was the point. Totally, uh, that what you just said is what yep. we've done. So look at Bob's original motion. And then look at what my amendment does. It just names the funds. Okay. In the frame okay. of Bob, Bob's Great. original motion. I, I think we're talking at cross purposes. But okay. What I was trying to say, this is the motion in its entirety once we approve this. So the first, as I understand it procedurally, the first thing we need to do is to amend Bob's motion by adding that language about naming the funds. That's all we're adding is naming the funds. Otherwise, Okay, that's fine. Can somebody just read the motion as it would be amended? Yes. <laughs> the motion on reality. approval Thank by the Bob. town council of the Jones Library Renovation and Expansion Project, the library shall begin to transfer the assets. That is the language, Bob, from your original motion. Yes. Derived from the following funds, Stone, Potash, Fotis, B.E. and R., Van Steenberg, and... Rud Rudberg to the town for its use on the project. The the only change in the motion. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, Bob, for having him reread it. I, I'm great. That's great. Ready to vote. <laughs> Alex, how do you vote? Yes. Lee. Yes. Bob. Happy to have the amendment added. Thank you, Tammy. Yes. Laura? Yes. Okay, the motion has been amended. Now we vote on the whole thing. Any discussion of the whole thing? Alex, how do you vote? Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Ah, yes. Okay, thank you. Lee? Yes. Laura? Yes. Tammy? Yes. Bob? <clears throat> yes. And Austin votes yes. And I yeah. want to just say, um, uh, again, thank you to Bob. Seeing once we once I saw the funds as they were specified and where they were, I understood what the motion was doing. And I think it's very helpful to, to do it. And Sharon, could you remind us roughly what's in those funds now? What is the total amount? A little over 297000 so uh, again, I think it was everybody's intention to turn those funds over as soon as the vote happens. We now know what the amount is and where the funds are derived from. Okay. So there I will be technicalities as you know we withdraw it from Vanguard and then move it and so on, but you know it's as soon as possible. Right. That's what we've agreed to. Okay. Anything else? So I will now inform, I'll inform the town manager that we've agreed in principle as we have. And um, I expect that then there'll be more communication about how to move forward with the memorandum of uh, agreement, uh, whether that will come before Monday's vote or after Monday's vote, I don't know. But I'll let you, I'll let you know. Meantime, keep the Monday uh time slot uh in case in case we in case we need it Farrah, did you have something Farrah? oh 
I was just um was it four p.m. I I yeah. yeah okay. Lee, keep the faith. All right. Thank you. Good to see everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you.